moving on, final topic of the day. Uh, Ken Palm numbers are out. You have really fluctuated on your feelings on Mr. Ken Pomeroy. He came on our show when we were nothing. He was one of the first people to give us his blessing as a guest. I want to make it unequivocally clear. I love Ken Palm. I'm a fan of his work. I subscribe to his site, and I love Ken Pomeroy, the person. I speak for both of us on Sleepers Media when I say that. With that said, Ken Palm numbers are out. There are some major discrepancies, specifically with where your team lands on Ken Palm's projections versus preseason polls. What are your thoughts on Ken Palm's first drop? Uh, He needs to change the batteries in his TI-84. Something's wrong. Something's off in the algorithm. Somebody did something. Maybe he looked away from his keyboard and he put a E equals MC squared instead of something else because there's no world, there's no computer, there's no nothing that Michigan State should be the 13th best basketball team in the country. And I don't want to make this about Michigan State either because Gregory, don't make that face. I want to make some face. other there's some other things on here that are just like just crazy to me. Like I think Wisconsin was 20. It's just, I, it's just some very strange things going on. I think the batteries need to be changed in the calculator. I think it's time to bring back the Kevin Durant to who wants to look at grass when talking about hoop. Um, it's just, it's, it just doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't. And it, it, it furthers my narrative that I'm not going to speak about on here, but the narrative is alive and well, and this is added to the added to the narrative vault. Look, we have the joke. Maybe it's not a joke. Hashtag not a math podcast. I love Ken Palm. I want to make it clear. Like I I use Ken Palm and all the alternatives to Ken Palm daily to help with my betting projections, to help with the way I interpret basketball. I think it's the greatest tool literally that there is. It has helped people talk more educationally sound about the sport of college basketball for years and years and years. Uh, I am going to push back on you majorly here. Is Michigan State low? Yeah, they're a little bit low. They're also right where you would expect a team that's lost 13 games the last three seasons to be. Uh, it, it is yeah, what it I th- is. I, th- I, th- I thought we were going one episode without the 13 lost games. It game. is what it is, man. Like we've we've said all along, Michigan State needs to make the jump. They haven't made the jump yet. We can't reward them for not making the jump until they make the jump. And we can we can project if we're making our lists of teams, we can say we think they're gonna make the jump, but like, as far as I know, the way that Ken Pop's algorithm works, it's rooted in a lot of what you've done. And what Michigan State has done has not even been close to 13th in the country. So this is like a nice middle ground for a team that I think is supposed to make a leap. But we just don't know if the leap is all the way up to four. But is that your big problem? Because if that's just the one thing you think is crazy on this, like, again, I I, I think there's a gap between – where a lot of people have polled Michigan State versus what they've done the last three years. Well, I, I mean, there's a lot. I think, I think Houston's too high at three. I think Gonzaga being five is crazy high. Duke being nine seems low to me. Like they're all the things have been talked about about that team. Like them being nine, uh, kind of crazy to me. Uh, um, uh, you know, but there are, there are some things I like. I like Kentucky in the top twenty-five. I don't think a lot of people have Kentucky in the top twenty-five. Uh, Auburn at 15 is a little bit, I mean, I, there's just, there's a couple on here that just, that's, sh- that strike me. Um, but he does have, what is it? What is it four big 10 teams in the top 25. Uh, was it, was Michi- it four or five? Purdue, per- Purdue, Michigan state, five, Illinois, Wisconsin, Maryland. Oh, Illinois, Wisconsin 20, and Maryland. Yeah. Yeah. Illinois, wow. Illinois being on there is surprising to me too. Haven't like over, said, uh, haven't said the big thing. Purdue is Ohio, the Ohio State. Purdue's the number one team in the country on Ken Palm. And like it, I mean, everywhere else it's Kansas or Duke with Purdue kind of clinging and everyone's selling Matt Painter. Like and it's not just Ken Palm. You can look at other numbers. Evan Miyakawa has Purdue number one. He has Braden Smith as the ninth best player in his player ratings model in the country. Um, Torvik is really high on Purdue. Like Purdue, Purdue is everywhere right now. According to the computers, Purdue is the computer's team. They've also been my team. I don't know if you know that or not. Over the last three, I've been the loudest person saying people are too skeptical of Purdue for no reason. I feel a little reinforced that all the computers are are with me on Purdue. I will not be speaking about that team on this episode. I'm there's taking a, a break. There's a larger gap between Purdue and Michigan State than there is between Michigan State and 
Ohio State, who is the sixth best team in the Big Ten. Yeah, didn't he have Ohio State at 40? Uh, 35. 35. And you know who's trailing Ohio State? Michigan. Huh. Oh, seventh? Seventh in the Big Ten for Michigan? Huh. Mm-hmm. I thought we I thought they were 13th behind Nebraska, according to most people. Huh. I see why you like Kenny Pom Pom. I'm just I'm fascinated. I mean, 44th in the country feels pretty appropriate for what I would expect from this mission. I was just told they were 13th behind Nebraska from a lot of people, though. So, huh? Huh? Who, who told you that? CBK? Huh. Uh, yeah. uh, right. You know who's lower than Michigan? Indiana. Huh? Ah. <laughs> uh. Good thing. Good thing the Indiana fans will get to the the Liam McNeely part first before they get to that. Interesting. I mean, pick ninth in the Big Ten, Indiana, really, huh? That seems like right around the cut line of the NCAA tournament, huh? Huh. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Ah. Very interesting. Yeah, bottom line, I, a lot of my offseason narratives were reinforced by these Ken Palm numbers, and I uh, I feel really, really good about that. The only one that's in contrast with me is Wisconsin so high. I'm selling Wisconsin. He has them at 20. But All right, so uh, uh, bench start cut. Evan Miyakawa, Ken Palm, and Torvik. Hmm. I'm starting Evan Mia. That's my guy. Uh, I'll bench Ken Palm and, and can I? You said cut. Yeah, it's cut. Yeah. It's cut Torvik. I was gonna see if there's okay. something harsher I could do to Torvik, but uh, man never responded to our DMs years ago. Ken Palm, see that's that's why you can't be so harsh <laughs> against Ken, man. Like he he was so kind and grateful to come on our show. Yeah, but he he made a mistake though. <laughs> what he didn't know who he, he didn't know who we were. He thought we were somebody else, and he hopped on the Zoom. He's like, who the who the hell are these guys? I don't think that's but he, true. but he but he was already there. Uh, that's pretty easy for me. Um, I'm starting. Uh, Evan Miyakawa, Maradona, of course. Mm-hmm. Uh, benching Torvik, I'm cutting Ken Palm. It, it's it's it, it's giving Paul Pierce on the Clippers. Okay, it, it really is. Do you think that Ken Palm knows that AJ Hogard is who he is? No, he doesn't. I feel like that's that's my big question after looking at these. Numbers. I feel like Ken Palm just doesn't. I mean, he must just think AJ isn't who he is. You know. It, it just doesn't the dog in him woof woof factor just you can't put that into the algorithm yeah i heard he hit some threes in midnight madness that's worth at least three spots they should be 10th on this list all right uh shout out wait, please, uh, wait last thing about march madness please tell me you saw that jeremy fears backdoor alley-oop i actually didn't all i saw from this event was uh the cohen car that's all i saw, oh. I saw all the, all I'll, the send, I'll, I'll send you i'll send you the link to the the, the madness game we have scrimmage. the whole scrimmage, right? Yeah. At yeah, some point, it's 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 very scrimmage. It's very money bally, but there's some stuff in there. You should send it to me, and then we should talk about it later this week because I have heard rumblings that a certain McDonald's All American is not even in the top ten on this team. So, uh, maybe worth a discussion on that. Possibly, or maybe not. We can just pretend it's not happening, and everything's good for the thirteenth best team in the country. We can do that. Too. Oh God, God we can do it. that too. What uh, are we doing? One big thing or not? You want to just leave? We can just leave today. Can we just say that the Lions are the best team in the NFL? Why don't we just do one big thing? What's your one big thing presented by me? <laughs> My one big thing is that the Lions are the best team in the NFL. Yeah, I think we can almost say it now. Yeah, they are, and Jared Goff is an MVP candidate. Wow. Should I place a future? Yeah. Wow. You should. You should. Jared Goff leads the what is it, 17 games, leads the 14 and three Lions to a number one seed, wins the division. Jared Goff MVP. Dan Campbell, coach of the year. It really is so fun. It is so – and, like, they're on the streak while everybody's banged up. I mean, you just lose David Montgomery mid-game in a game he's going to get 30 carries and, oh, well, still waltz to a 14-point road win. Like, somebody yeah. – and, 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 and all the video – and all the videos from Tampa Bay, like, just had me emotional. Like, Lions – we like, people don't get how long we waited for something like this. Like, there is so much, so many jokes, so many losses, like, a lot of shit we had to go through to get to this point. And it's amazing. Can we go on record right now and say that if the lions are in the word, I'm not going to say 
for risk of jinxing. If the Lions make it to the blank, you and I will be there and film the whole thing. Yes. Okay. I'm I'm verbally agreeing to that. My one big thing as long as as as, as long as we don't step on any, you know, toes. My, my one big thing, I don't know what that means. My one big thing presented by Big B. Um yeah, I think you're you're gonna like this one. I had a dream last night. This is how you know college basketball season's almost here. Guess what my dream was? I want you to guess. A certain player in college basketball did something. The first play of the season was this play. Doug McDaniel got a dunk. Carson Cooper hit a three on the first play of the game in my dream last night. That was your dream? I don't know what it means, but it was like like I, I was at a, literally a wing spot here in Kalamazoo. It was the first game of the season. I was all excited for it. Roll the ball out. Carson Cooper is surprised starting at the four for this team. Don't expect that, but him and Mahdi are the front court. First play, kick out, Carson, bang. <laughs> Everybody goes nuts. I don't know how to feel about that, but I'm also extremely rattled. Like, what if that does happen? I'll be very scared of you. That's I I woke up immediately like, what is happening to my life? Uh, I don't know what it means, but college basketball season's almost here. Join the Discord. We'll be back tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed five topics today. Uh, fun episode. I'll see you in Vegas, Cart. Have uh, safe travels, my friend. Put it all in black.